Macho! So have you ever been playing a game, like your favorite video game, and then your parents call you like, hey, come here, it's time for dinner. Stop your game and come eat. At first, it can be like super frustrating, right? Like I'm in the middle of something, I'm doing something. Like why do I gotta stop what I'm doing just for you? Like it can be frustrating. But then also ultimately you're like, you know what? Is this kind of a good thing because my parents are about to bless me with some delicious food? Or if I'm cooking some somewhat edible food. <laughs> no, it's not drugs! <laughs> Hopefully, your parents are about to give you some delicious chicken nuggets. Oh yeah, baby! Well, there's a story kind of like this in the Bible. I mean, there's no video games and there's no chicken nuggets. But it's kind of like this at the beginning of the Bible, at the beginning of the story of God's chosen people. The Bible says that one day, the Lord, or God, came to this dude named Abram, and he comes to him and he says, Yo, Abram, leave your family, leave your home, leave all the people you know, and go to the place that I will show you. I mean, what? He says, hey, leave everything you know. Cool, we're, we're gonna go now, let's go. And then the Lord said, I will make your descendants into a great nation. Everyone is going to be blessed through them. The Lord says, I will bless whoever blesses you, and I will curse whoever curses you. Ooh. I mean, not a bad deal, but also, what? The next verse is crazy. I mean, this is nuts. Like, this is where the story gets crazy. Ready? Listen to this. So Abram departed. Huh? He just is like, cool, all right, let's go. Let me leave everyone I know and everything that I know and let's just go. Like, that's crazy. I mean, this had to be an incredibly difficult decision for Abram to make, but ultimately he's like, all right, cool. God, I trust you, let's go. Even though it was hard, Abram said yes. And sometimes for us, it's hard to trust God. It's hard to say, yes to God when it's difficult. But Abram did, and Abram trusted the promise that God said, I am going to bless a lot of people through you. And sometimes that makes me think, like, what, what does that mean? What is a blessing? What does it mean to be blessed? See, blessings are given when somebody wants to do what's best for us. Like, when somebody wants to do what's best for you, they're giving you a blessing. When somebody wants to bless me, it means they're trying to do what's best for me. And God blesses us in so many ways. And one of the biggest ways is God blesses us by giving us his presence. And his presence in our life can bring us love and joy and peace and all those things that help us get through our day. And then we get to take those things that God blesses us with, like love and joy and peace, and we can take those and we can bless other people with those same things by showing people love, by bringing joy to situations, by trying to bring peace to other people. We are blessing other people. You see, our big idea today is that God blesses us so we can bless others. Just like God blessed Abram so that Abram could bless others, he does the same with us. Now, he's probably not asking all of us to just get up and leave everything we know and go wander through the desert. That's probably not what he's saying to us. But God blesses us with things like love and joy and peace. And we can take those things and go and bless the world with them. And I don't know about you. I think that sounds pretty good. God blesses us so we can bless 